that's not it. Something better than that. I think it's better than that because it, that's the story element. That's the actual execution of the story element. But what we're talking about is playing with people's concepts of time based on texture. We have a common we have a common item between that time and this time now. That common item is this video I'm watching. Whether AR would be amazing. Like if it's literally like Star Wars people, like you see us in the room like ghosts. Yeah. Or even if it's VR, even if it's just a 360 camera, and I know that if I go and I stand right in that same spot, I can watch this happen around me. You know what I mean? Like, I, I'm just thinking, talking to my 43-year-old self, I'm going to be looking at my editor saying, fuck yeah, that was a cool idea. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> that I, that's kind of what I'm trying to voice here, oh. somehow. The, the, the perspective change is a set of dimensions up. It's not... So... This isn't video. It's being reproduced as video here because that's the viewer we have, right? So right. we're able to uh, emulate what it actually is, which is a uh, semi-hologram. It's, it's a d spherical, semi-spherical hologram that, that you can do anything you can with 3D objects, right? Okay. So the, th in the same way that um, this is not video, 360 video is not video. It's something with, it contains all of the possibilities in the, the, the medium just below it, right? So, like the same as a plane is a, all the infinite lines, so, so that this new dimension, right? Uh -huh. This thing has the, the um, all of the perspectives of what you used to use your framing for. Yes. You're talking about composing. Yeah. Like actually composing the yeah. shot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So Absolutely. And, and Imagining what things you can capture is great, but the, the, the composition is the thing that's at stake here. Right? Yes, like, or it just gets more complicated. It's like, come on, do you want to be one of the big dogs? Yeah, it's time to take it to another dimension. And if problem, the yeah. thing that I like about it is that... Oh, what did I do here? Um, and now, so the representation gives you the immediate sort of, not just whatever you would compose for your experiencer, but also the, the potential for infinite manipulable uh, artificial objects to like so 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 we get this as a source uh, and we lay it in with this as a source and we end up with a with a, a, a re-experience right yes something you yes. can move yes. around in and see the back of it and all that right and, and have all of it uh, from recreated. a third person point of view but now we can also add in um, digital <coughs> elements that aren't in either one because of the process so now I can use uh, an AR fucking holographic right. thing in while I nav to navigate this. Like so you, so it's the experience itself isn't passive either. You have a lot right. of control over the different ways that a person would experience the compositions. Uh, so here's an example. Um, I was watching these developers do their thing and this one guy has a game for VR where you hum into it and it matches the tone it asks you to try to match the tone and it presents uh, like algorithm driven visualizations it w along with the person's tone and so wow. it's, a, it's supposed to be recreating meditation experiences uh, and LSD experiences okay. right okay. And, and so it's a game but it uses this multimedia thing to visualize right but there's still the specter travel through that thing <laughs> that this this new way of storytelling may not have like this one only pathway through the experience is, right. is, a, is a single vector it's my individual experience of what's yes. happening yes whatever that and and the controls that go with it yes. right and then the things that it gives me for rendering yes you, you can you can look at groups for that or you, you know what i'm saying like how how do we have the movie now when it's for more than one person to also be in at the same time well that's where the art comes in yeah because you still if if I said to you you can have anything you want you can know anything you want 
you're going to play with that. I mean, you're going to go, you're going to track down a whole bunch of stuff on your own. It's going to be completely unique, right? Yeah. That's a lot of control. And every different person is going to tell a different story. They're going to want a different story. But the beauty of the film is I tell you the story. You, know, you, you take the story that I give you, but I want to give you as much of an immersive experience as possible by combining every element I can with the budget I have to communicate the thought I want to send. Oh. Um, so based on that, uh, okay, so here's, here's this, what I'll say is I totally know, I know how to do what you're saying. Yeah. Like in the same way that you say, when I say these crazy ideas and I'm like, this is coming from outer space, and you're like, no, 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 I can do that, no problem. Yeah. I'm trusting you, so just yeah. trust me that I know how to do this. Yeah, yeah. But um, I, I've been th I, I think of, there's this thing I wrote See if I can find it on the, I won't be able to find it, but basically it's a short story, and it's meant to be literally real time as you read it, one minute long in real time, and the story takes one minute to read. So, so as you're yeah, reading it, yes, yes, <clears throat> this happens in real time. Cool. Yeah. and it's basically the premise is I'll, I'll track it down. I'll send it to you. But the premise is uh, <clears throat> there's a janitor in a hallway, and this dude jumps through this door and he's like uh, wait no 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 before the dude jumps through the door a dude comes running around the corner and he says hey man okay here's what I need you to do don't ask me any questions take this broom and another me is going to jump through that door just a minute, you know just a couple seconds because because that me is the future me to me and the past me was an asshole and he stole my keys to the time machine. So now I need to steal the keys from the time machine of the me that's coming from the future so I can get in there and I can chase down the me from the past and <laughs> with my time, my own time machine. I'm chasing myself. And the janitor's just standing there like, what the fuck? <laughs> the whole time. And he's like, so when the new me jumps out, I need you to hit him in the head with this broom. Hey, come on in, so I can grab the keys and blah, 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 blah. So then I tuck back behind the corner. Another me comes out the room. He hits him in the head. I grab his keys and run in the door. Door slams, and then you've got a dude standing there like, you just hit me in the head. So the story actually loops, right? right? Um, and the idea would be that it would be one minute long, and it would play live in a constant loop. And no matter when you put the headset on, it could have any beginning or end. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. There you go. What? Dance around. Let me see if it's catching you. 